Hello my friends and welcome back to our blind let's play of Day of the Tentacle Remastered. My name is the Bird. this is your story based gaming channel. And I want to give a shout out to Aris. Aris, really hope I'm getting better. He told me that T was silent. So Aris, Aris, correct me on which one please. I'm, I'm really trying to learn your name. Uh, he pointed out a couple really awesome things. The first thing was, if you do the math and you take all those quarters that we found and say each quarter is 30 minutes of yeah so each quarter each quarter is every 30 minutes which the sign says back here if you do the math on that then what happens is it counts out to 200 years which is amazing I, i'm I, I think that's mind-blowing so all those quarters that we found, 800,000 quarters, yeah, the, the math works out really well. By the way, I noticed this sign that said four sale cats, four legs, two eyes, one head. <laughs> That's really good. Uh, so yeah, that works. Another thing. That is important is he told me that there are very few red herrings so if we look at something we should say that there's a purpose behind it and that got me thinking because with mrs uh, tentacle here we have to figure out a way to make our mummy laugh and that's something we don't know how to do yet. We don't understand how to make our mommy laugh. So I got thinking, what items in the game have had a laughter? And when I saw that red herring comment, I immediately jumped to this room. This room is all about laughter. It's all about prank jokes and it had a clown that laughed at me. You looking at me? Are you looking at me? Then who are you looking at, huh? I asked you a question. Okay, clown, that does it. You see, it laughs. So that means that we gotta do something with this clown. We have to pick up this clown and transport it to our uh, Laverne. Open clown? Not with what's left of my fingernails. That's weird. Pick up. I can't. Uzo's intimidating. Okay, so if we push it and pull it, it laughs at us. I've never gotten over my childhood fear of Uzo. But one of the options is open. Not with what's left of my fingernails. So what he's saying is he can't use his fingernails to cut open the clown. So what we need to do is we need to cut the clown. We have to open it. We did get a crowbar. I'm not so sure that's a good idea. It doesn't work. How about a can opener? I don't think that's the weapon of choice. The weapon of choice. I don't think that's the weapon of choice. So we need a weapon. Can opener is not going to work. I'm not so sure that's a good idea. Crowbar doesn't work. Hey, it's not a toy. The cigar lighter doesn't work. Hmm. <sighs> the hammer? I don't think that's the weapon of choice. We need a weapon. Scalpel. Not necessarily a weapon, but it is a tiny dagger. That could work. Master plumber. <laughs> Fork could work as well. What do you have? Okay, so it's got to be the fork or the scalpel. That, or something we haven't found yet. Rap sheet, Vandal. <laughs> oh, box of laughs. Uh, pick it up, please. 
Sweet. We just found our way to make our mummy laugh. Excellent. Let's get that to Laverne. Let's go ahead and give this to the mummy. <laughs> All right. Uh, Mr. Judges. Uh, best laugh. Hey, don't you? Oh. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Okay, who's got a joke? I know. Why did the human cross the road? Because his tentacle owner told him to. Ah. 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 That's exactly what I feel. <laughs> I think our mummy friend picked up a sense of humor somewhere. <laughs> yes. But Harold still tops him. Ah. Oh, of course. Harold wins hands down. But if it weren't for Harold, I'd let the mummy have it. Agreed. Okay, we're back to the, the problem of getting many Harold. We need Harold to be sick. That's the bottom line. We need Harold or to disappear. Can we make Harold disappear? Oh, I never get tired of that one, you witty tentacle. I don't think that did anything. Yeah, I oh, doesn't do anything. He doesn't disappear. That was worth a shot. I was sort of thinking of that as like uh, comedy humor or something. Uh, let's see. This doesn't he seem is like a cat. the best place to start. A I don't think so. I don't think so. What do we do with the sweater? I don't think so. I don't think so. Do we put the sweater on the uh, hamster possibly? He doesn't need that. I guess not. Hmm. Uh, how do we... Wait, wait. Right there. It said gross. Can't pick it up. The only thing I can think of is, logically speaking, if the doctor is there, we need to make the uh, the guy look like he's sick. We have to use a fake barf on Harold, which would then make it look like he threw up, which means he would be disqualified because he's sick. But how do we get the fake barf? Because I have tried everything and I have not been able to get the fake barf. I'm not so sure that's a good idea. I just don't know. I feel like we're stuck on this puzzle. Okay, let's look around here. We got surveillance camera. We've done that. We've done that. Of course, we know about this. We know what the surveillance cameras are for. Still don't know about this ice machine. It's pretty darn cold. No way. There's things in there that look like they've been there for years. Look like they've been here for years. It is open. So basically we need to... Oh, you got to be kidding me. Laverne needs the hamster. But we can't flush the hamster down to the toilet. So how do we give the hamster to Laverne? I'm sorry to do this to you, little fella, but it's for the future of the whole planet. I'm sorry. Wow. It is open. Will that actually work? My poor friend. I'm sorry. I know you're not a flightless bird, but still. Uh, please be alive. I don't want any animals to be hurt in the making of this movie. Looks like there's some kind of rodent down there. Frozen hamster. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at her face. We have a frozen hamster. He's frozen solid. Aw, poor guy. So like nah. It's already open. Is there a way to unfreeze our I mean there's oh Jesus. Don't tell me you have to use the microwave to unfreeze a hamster. Meanwhile. <clears throat> ah, Lieutenant, I'm glad you're here. What kept you? Uh, well, I hate to say it, sir, but uh, there was some trouble with one of the humans. Trouble? What sort of trouble? 
Nothing I couldn't handle, but I've noticed something about the humans that may pose a problem. What's that? Do continue. Well, sir, in general, they seem to be a bit larger than us tentacles. You know, taller, heftier, more massive. <laughs> of course they are. <laughs> I get the picture, son. I don't mean to carry on, sir. It's just that it makes me feel inadequate, small, <laughs> inferior. <laughs> Before you go off the deep end there, let me tell you why I called you here. You see, I've invented something which will end our troubles with those glandular leg walkers for good. Uh -oh. I've invented the diminuator. Uh oh. What? It's a shrinking ray, Dolt. Oh, I get it. Now I need you to get me a few parts so I can finish the thing. Come over here. Purple tentacle is going to make things very difficult. It's already open. Please don't blow up. Oh, don't try this at home. <laughs> oh, look at his eyes! Gosh, I hope this isn't like the primitive, dangerous microwave ovens of my century. <laughs> I hope so, too. Those things could really pop a hamster good. Can we not talk about that? No! No! Uh -oh. Yay! He lived! Aww. Oops. <laughs> that was fun, but only because this is the 22nd century. You see, kids who put hamsters in microwaves back where I'm from get taken away from their parents and put up for adoption. <laughs> so don't do it. Yeah, kids, do not do this at home. For sure. Aww, it's a cold, wet hamster. I'm sorry. He still looks really cold. Maybe now we have to give him the... Yeah, the spider. This ought to warm <laughs> him up. <laughs> Those eyes. Oh, that's so great. Oh, I'm sorry, little guy. We put you through so much. I wish I had some formaldehyde. Aww. Okay. So we got a toasty hamster. But the problem is, well, we're still back at square room, square one. It's like we're figuring out puzzles for things that we don't need to figure out yet. Uh, we already know that we need the hamster for the uh, the generator uh, because we've been told that there should be a hamster generator down there. But how do we get that stuff? It won't budge. Wow, this is loud. Okay. So the speakers are shaking the entire house, but it's not enough to get the fake bark down. Powerful looking speaker. Okay, there's a mouse hole over here. I, I can't do anything with this on. Please go off. Whew. Let's go back to the uh, the mouse. And let's use the mouse with this hole. I think not. Okay, that's not gonna work. Got a bowling ball. It looks too heavy for me to pick up. Hmm. And there's no push. And there's a use. I don't think I can do that. I don't think I can do that. Um. I don't think I can do that. So any point to I the bowling ball. I don't think I can do that. I don't think I can do that. I guess not. Let's look at the speakers. Powerful looking speaker. Yeah, they need to be more powerful though. It's too heavy. No, the stereo would fall. No, the stereo would fall. So do we need to remove this stereo? It won't budge. It won't budge. Hmm. Wow. This is loud. What about Whew. the other speaker? Is there something we can do with this? Hoagie would really love these. Push. Oh! I get it. Now the music is directed straight down. I see. Wow. 
This is loud. Yes! We got... Oh, that's so disgusting, by the way. But yes! It won't budge. We got the fake bar. Whew. Man, we could have done that at the very beginning of the game. Jeez, Fartless Bird. Okay. We did try the um, mouse here, right? I think not. What about the... Now you can only observe this. My dad has one of these in his den. Is this where you have to use the, um... Uh, the... Stop that. Laverne. Uh, what is it? The ink? And the whiteout? And the soap? Ah! I'm the worst at pressing buttons. I'm sorry, you guys. Uh, let's see. Uh, can we slash the paint? I better not. My scoutmaster warned me to be careful. Can we boobagon? I don't think that would look better white. What? Destroy art? Yeah, I know. I don't like it either. I'd rather not. Mm, not funny enough. Not funny enough. I'm not sure I like that idea. No, I like it the way it is. Hey, it's not a toy. I'd rather not. Okay, I can't. I'm not so sure that's a good idea. I'd rather not. I can't seem to do anything with this uh, painting. And what's in this other room? This is uh, the sleeping guy. We don't need to go in there. We've already figured that one out. Okay. I still don't know how to get the stamp. I just realized that. Can we pick up this? It's bad enough to carry the weight of his death on my conscience. Ha ha ha. Maybe I got a little carried away. It's bad enough to carry the weight of his- Okay. Let's pick up the fake barf. Ew. That's so gross. Rap sheet, adventure gamer, and novelty enthusiast. All right, let's pass the fake barf over to Laverne. And then let's try to sabotage Harold by making him look sick. And with Harold out of the way, we should be able to win the contest. Oh, Rapshi, cheat. Harold, that's gross. What are you babbling about? You really should have told the judges if you weren't feeling well. Oh, ick. Nice. Now, how did that mess get in there? I think I'm going to be sick. Someone in here not feeling well. Here's the doctor. I was feeling fine until I saw that. Is that your regurgitation? <laughs> Look at that look. Yeah, I'm a nasty <laughs> human. Didn't you just say you thought you were going to be sick? That's just a figure of speech. Do you realize you could have infected the whole show with human influenza? Yeah. Do you realize that, Harold? I just got all my shots. Oh, I feel bad You're now. You're a good-looking human, Harold, but you know the rules. You're out of the show. Reject. <laughs> <laughs> what a mess. Oh, my gosh. I hate cleaning up after humans. I just realized there's a screen above every single person. Now I know why that screen is there. All right, Harold is gone. That means we should be able to win all the words now. Hey. Oh. Let's see if this worked. Wow, that's the best hair I've ever seen on a mummy. Thick and full and juicy. And juicy. The mummy wins. Mummy wins. Agreed. I just like how the guy who was asleep all of a sudden woke up to hear that and he was like, Are you guys serious? It's a mummy. Hey. Oh. I like the quiet one with the big teeth. There's nothing in the rules about them being white. First place goes to the mummy. The mummy wins. Agreed. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. I just love the way those guys move. Probably would take forever for them to all sloop. Hey. Oh. Okay, who's got a joke? I got one. 
How can you tell a human from a sack of flour? How? Drop them both off a tall building, and the human will bounce. Wow. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. That's horrible. I like how none of them are even laughing. Like, smiling and he's asleep. It's amazing how the mummy can do that without moving his lips. <laughs> I say we give him first place. Agree. Well, that makes him best of show. Best of show! Let's go congratulate him. Woohoo! He is very well preserved. <laughs> I'll miss his laugh. <laughs> it's time to give him his winnings and start packing up. We gotta get this whole show to Baltimore by Thursday. Yes, our work here is done. It's an honor just to complete. Just to compete, but winning is all the dumb. Look at that. Look at that. Our mummy won. You know what I really would like to know, though, is... Well, Ted, this is where we <laughs> part ways. You've certainly helped save humanity. Even though you've been <laughs> dead for thousands of years, I think you're my... Favorite Edison. Aww. Aww. Oh, one thing I want to know is what happens if you do the contest and Harold's not there, but the mummy doesn't have anything? Like, who wins? No, he looks tired. At All right, what do we get? We got a trophy. Ooh. And a dinner, diner, dinner certificate. Dinner for two at Club Tentacle. Dang, it says tentacles only. Hmm. <laughs> so what do we do with those? Can we use one of those to get rid of the guard? No, this has to be special. Really? I don't think so. How about how about this guard? That's what I meant. I meant this guard, not that guard. I, I went in the wrong room, didn't I? I sure did. And I still went the wrong room. One of these days I'll get it right. Okay. Uh kennel. Kennel. I think he mentioned something about this earlier. Whoa, dinner for two at Club Tentacle? I can't wait to tell my wife. <laughs> Screw this job. Now we should be able to activate this switch. You're free. Free to do what? Leave. Free to, to run wild through the woods like humans should. Big deal. I said you're free. Now get off your fat, lazy butts and start enjoying it. Enjoy being hunted for the rest of our lives by that mustached old tentacle with a big net? If we ran off, he'd be right on our trail. Wow, that's kind of depressing. If we stay here, we know we'll be warm and comfortable. Outside, we'd be eating bugs and moss. You'll be eating my fist in a second. <laughs> the woods are filled with wild animals, lions, tigers, and bears, and skunks. Skunks! Man, I hate skunks. You hit skunks? I know exactly what to do. We have a skunk. <laughs> hey, look, a skunk. <laughs> Back here, you mangy humans! You can't do this! This is an escape-proof facility! Well, it was. Who says you can't learn anything from cartoons, eh, kitty? <laughs> Bo skunk. Can we pick you back up? I think I've had enough fun with Mr. Kitty. Alright, bye, kitty cat. We'll see you later. Okay, so the grandfather clock should be open now. Sweet. I've been trying to get in here forever. Alright, hey, there's that vacuum cleaner. The you suck. Old Christmas wreath. First thing I want to do is use the extension cord with the outlet. And we know we're going to put the hamster here, but let's look around first. It's the same generator that was in Dr. Fred's lab. 
That's how you empty the vacuum cleaner, I guess. Oh, there's a hatch here. It has a door on the side. That's how you empty the vacuum cleaner, I guess. Oh, you suck something in and then you get it here. I got it. Probably just the tentacles winter, uh, winter things. <laughs> Can we pick any of it up? I'm not interested in tentacle junk. I'm not interested. I'm not interested huh? in tentacle junk. I'm trying to go to the left. Time machine ruins. Good riddance. It's beyond repair. It's beyond. It's open. So it's already open. We can't do anything with it. It's beyond okay. repair. Let's go ahead and use hamster. What the? Where did that come from? Oh, great. Are you kidding me? Ah, game. Look at his eyes. He's so adorable. Fascinating. All right, so now we got a new item. It has a dent in it shaped like my skull. <laughs> Why did I pick this stupid thing up? Are you kidding me? There's a face print on the glove. I <laughs> hope it's sprung for good. It's done moving. It's done moving. It's done. Okay, so we need to get the, uh... I'm sure he's in there. He's hiding. He's been through a lot. I feel sorry for this guy. Hello, Fluffums? Fluffums. <laughs> Hello, Fluffums? I can't fit in there. So what if we use a vacuum cleaner? You suck. <laughs> I'm sorry, little guy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This poor guy's been through so much to save the world. Uh, this is this is a hero that we need in this time. Dust ball. <laughs> I'm so sorry. All right, generator. Well, look at that sucker go. He just keeps running and running and running. Number two, achieving a lot. Sweet, we got power, you guys. So does that mean that we're done with the Vern storyline? Let's go see. Meanwhile. I got the problematic gizmo for you, sir. You mean the high frequency fragistatic generator? Yes, that one. But I'm having trouble locating the pneumo whatsis. The pneumo electric deamplifier. You might try that old abandoned lab in the basement. It's hardly been touched in 200 years. Uh-oh. Yes, sir. The diminuator will be my crowning success. With it, I'll be able to shrink the entire human race out of sight. <laughs> we need to move before, uh, before this guy does what he's going to do. Carnajan, use. Well, I'm all ready to go, but I guess I have to wait for Bernard and Hoagie. Oh, we don't have a diamond. Ah, <sighs> stupid diamond. Hmm, I don't know what to do about that either. All right, well, we got a lot done today. A lot of good stuff. Still stuck on some puzzles, especially Hoagie. Uh, we got a hubcap now, though. No need for a hubcap there, just like most places. I don't think I could. I don't think. I don't think so. Hmm. So she's on the screen. She puts it in the Carnageon. That's cool. So we got a hubcap. We don't know what the hubcap's for. We still have so much left to do with uh, Bernard and Hoagie. I need to find somehow to get a stamp. I wonder if I go down here, will something happen? No? Okay, cool. I didn't know what the green tentacle would be down here. 
Uh, the evil green tentacle, not our friend green tentacle. All right, well, uh, I'm the Flight Spur. This is your story based game channel. This is our blind let's play of Day of the Tentacle. I uh, love you guys so much. Thank you for everything. And uh, really, thank you for all the pointers without spoiling stuff. You are the greatest community in the world. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, until next time, so long. And take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter, you are brilliant, and you are loved, and you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.